Hi and welcome to my workshop. My name is John. Today we're going to be working on uh, changing out a selenium rectifier, this blue item right here. And we're going to install a diode and dropping resistor in its place. Um, first I want to talk a little bit about exactly what a um, selenium rectifier is and what it does in the radio. The purpose of a rectifying system in a radio is to uh, change the alternating current over to direct current, which is necessary for all most of the elements in the radio to work. Alternating current, as you already know and as depicted in this graph, travels in both directions. In this graph it's shown on above the line as positive, meaning it flows in one direction, and negative as it flows in the other direction, because it's constantly moving back and forth at about 60 times per second. Now the selenium rectifier or a diode will only uh, allow the current to flow in one direction so it only takes actually half of the current from the previous diagram in this case the top half. When the rectifier is only uh, applied to one side of the AC current then it that's this it leaves those blank phases in between the peaks and this is known as a half phase rectification which is what most of the old radios use full phase rectification is also possible but that requires rectifiers like selenium rectifiers tube rectifiers or diodes to be placed in a bridged sort of uh symmetry across both ac lines and now looking back on the photo of the uh, selenium rectifier on the radio that I'm currently working on, you can see the uh, blue rectifier down there in the lower right corner. That orange wire at the top connected to one side of the rectifier is coming directly from the AC pin to the left. And the other wire, which is a little darker orange, is headed into the chassis of the radio where it's connected to the B plus or uh, rather the positive side of the electrolytic capacitors inside the radio. And here is a uh, simple diagram of the replacement diode and dropping resistor in the circuit. Uh, it's important to note that uh, of course you only want to rectify the the uh, DC components in your radio. Some components in the radio actually require AC, like the heaters in your tubes, lamps, uh, sometimes other things. So um, you don't want to rectify the entire radio, just the DC components that goes to the electrolytic capacitors positive side. And here I'm using a uh, Type 1N 5404 uh, rectifying diode which has a rating of 3 amps and has a drop of about 1.5 volts. Now um, the selenium rectifier that we're replacing has a drop of somewhere between 7 and 15 volts. So uh, we need to add a dropping resistor also uh, to accommodate for those 7 to 15 volts. Uh, minus 1.5, which would be 5.5 to somewhere around 13.5 volts. I, ch I chose a 100 ohm resistor, and it seems to be working well. I, initially, I started out with a 130, and that dropped the resist uh, that dropped the voltage too far, and I was getting a muffled uh, result from the radio. So. Um, and so I dropped that down to 100 ohm, and this 10 watt resistor uh, seems to be working really well. Uh, I would suggest using a 10 watt or higher 20 watt um, resistor because they do um, get pretty hot, and there's a lot of uh, uh, electricity flowing through there. The diode, the band on the diode, as you can see, is facing away from the wall outlet. The band on the upper right side of the diode needs to be facing toward the B plus or the uh, positive side of your electrolytic capacitors in your radio. The resistor needs to be between the uh, electrolytic capacitor and the diode as shown in the diagram. And pretty much that's basically um, how you're going to replace your selenium diode. 
Okay, now we'll move back to uh, my uh, radio, and you can see um, just to the right of the blue selenium rectifier, I've attached a uh, strip, lug strip there, to hold the uh, new diode and the new resistor. And um, here is the wire coming from the electrical pin, which is actually uh, that pin just to the right of that wire uh, on the left side. And uh, that's coming directly to the diode, to the uh, to the anode of the diode and it's traveling up through the diode where you see the band on top and then that goes to the resistor and the resistor comes back and goes back to the uh, darker orange wire which then leads to the uh, B plus electrolytic um, capacitor positive side. Okay and so that's pretty much it for replacing a selenium rectifier Side note, um, I'll be leaving this rectifier on the chassis for two reasons, really. Uh, one, first reason is aesthetics, and secondly, because any future uh, technicians that get into this radio to repair it will be able to easily see um, how it was replaced. And uh, if you have any questions, you can write them here. I apologize up front, I don't get to YouTube very often to answer questions. But you can also go to a website that I refer uh, to a lot, which is antiqueradios.com, where there's uh, virtually hundreds of experts there that, that are, are willing and very politely will help you through uh, your radio endeavors. So good luck with your Selenium uh, project, and uh, have fun with it. That's what it's all about. This is John signing off.